Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Huge Trump banner just unfurled at Yankee Stadium and infuriates every liberal there. Those pesky Russians recently struck again this weekend. This time at a Yankees baseball game deep in the heart of the liberal bastion known as New York City. A Sunday game at Yankee Stadium unexpectedly had a moment as supporters of President Donald Trump and his upcoming bid for re-election in 2020 unfurled a massive red, white, and blue banner out in right field. The banner proclaimed, re-elect Donald J. Trump and keep America great. 2020. Somehow, the Russians are no doubt involved. Perhaps special counsel Robert Mueller and deputy chair of the FBI Rod Rosenstein should take action? According to the Daily Wire- The owner of the flag, who would identify himself only as Dino, said the flag has the signatures of 56 patriots. He and others unfurled the flag between innings in the eighth, and it stayed up for about 90 seconds. Dino said he had no problems with security, he simply rolled it back up and strolled out. Dino said the rules are skewed toward liberals. Somewhere along the line, liberals were granted 100% tolerance when it comes to messaging, he said, which includes saying F Trump in front of billions, smashing Trump's star, sporting events, talk shows, bloody heads and effigy, they are without rules. At the same time conservatives are granted 0% level of tolerance when it comes to messaging, even in a positive manner. We are supposed to be oppressed and fearful of liberals? Well not me, no way, no how, Dino said. Naturally. Word traveled of the unexpected banner unfurling. Dina Berliner tweeted of the events that occurred, not even baseball is devoid of politics now. Trump 2020 sign unfurled at the Yankee game during the eighth inning. Another Twitter user pointed out in a tweet, typically liberals, Democrats are not sports fans. Dash unless everybody is being rewarded a trophy for participation. So. Displaying a huge Trump for 2020 banner at a Yankees game supports a vast majority of the Yankees game attendees. AOL. Com pointed out how so many people talk about how professional sports should stay out of politics but admitted it was getting difficult to separate the two. AOL reports, for all the cries of stick to sports from those who view athletic events as a respite from the world of politics, even the hardliners must admit it's getting hard to separate the two. It's especially hard to avoid combining state and sports when fans are openly campaigning at the ballpark. AOL added that it was made more difficult to separate the two since the midterm elections had not yet occurred, as well as pointing out outfielder Aaron Judge was listed on the disabled list making it a tough stretch. Granted, the midterm elections haven't occurred yet, so it's hard to think past this year, but the Yankees should really focus on getting to October before they set their sights on November. With Aaron Judge on the disabled list, and New York still five games back of the Red Sox in the American League East, it'd be silly to start looking this far ahead. The trade deadline hasn't even passed yet. And August is always a tough stretch with every contending team searching high and low for momentum. There hasn't been any word on the fans who brought the banner to the game or how long it was allowed to stay up. With Donald Trump having won just 5% of the vote in the Bronx in the 2016 election, the more curious question here is how did the banner make it into Yankee Stadium at all? The flag made a previous appearance in June of 2018 at a Broadway performance of the Robert De Niro-directed musical A Bronx Tale. Dino claimed this Make America Great Again random flagging also, standing up during a curtain call and hoisting up the Keep America Great flag. He stood up during a curtain call and hoisting the Keep America Great flag. Joe Del Vicario tweeted of the flag's appearance on Broadway, The Times We Live In. At the end of A Bronx Tale, a man turned around and faced the audience to show us how big of a pair he has. He was escorted shortly after. It's sad that people can't enjoy a beautiful show and embrace its unifying message without politicizing it. The New York Post reports Dash. Several people in attendance took to social media to document what happened Saturday night at the end of the 8 p.m. showing of A Bronx Tale, which is directed by De Niro and four-time Tony Award winner Jerry Zaks. Photos posted on Twitter showed the Trump supporter standing up in the front row with the Keep America Great campaign flag in his hands as cast members take their final bow. Trump 2020 the flag said. People in the crowd, however, looked like they couldn't have cared less. In the photos posted online, almost everyone in the first few rows has their eyes locked on the stage, including the people right next to the man. His demonstration appears to be a direct response to the FK Trump comments that De Niro made during the Tony Awards last week. It's sad that people can't enjoy a beautiful show and embrace its unifying message without politicizing it, Del Vicario said. That was the news. 
We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.